Hello Space Cats and welcome back to my channel from the beautiful Swiss Alps. This week, if you happen to be in South America on July the 2nd, you may be in for a huge treat, a total solar eclipse to be exact. But what does that have to do with Einstein and Eddington? Let me tell you a story so you can find out more. Everyone knows the name Albert Einstein. In 1905, the German physicist formulated his famous equation E equals mc squared to demonstrate that energy is equivalent to mass times the speed of light squared. He also came up with special relativity to describe space, time, and the speed of light. By 1915, he had generalized this theory into the theory of general relativity, or GR for short. This is a theory of gravity, and it was able to describe why the gravitational attraction between masses was a direct result of the warping of space and time. But even then, at the age of 36, Einstein was relatively unknown outside of Germany. This all changed in 1919, but what happened? A hundred years ago, British astronomer Arthur Eddington, a professor at Cambridge University, read about Einstein's work. He was one of the few people who actually understood it. And so he decided to promote it through his own explanations and more importantly, in English. Unfortunately, this wasn't enough. Eddington needed to prove that Einstein's theory of general relativity was in fact correct. And to do so, he had a plan. Einstein's theory of relativity makes many predictions. For example, the strange orbit of Mercury, or gravitational redshift, where gravity is able to stretch light and time. But one of the most important predictions is gravitational lensing. And this is where light approaching the vicinity of a very high mass object would be perturbed by the gravity of that object. The most massive object in our solar system is the sun. So according to Einstein, light from distant stars and galaxies approaching close to the sun would be shifted by of order 10 thousandths of a degree. If we can measure this shift, we could prove Einstein's theory correct. However, we can't see the stars when the sun is out. Fortunately, the perfect opportunity came on the 26th of May, 1919, during a total solar eclipse. A solar eclipse is a special event where the sun, the moon, and the earth will all be aligned in that order. As viewed from the earth, the moon will obscure the light from the sun. If the sun and the moon are not perfectly aligned, then the moon will only cover part of the sun's light, and this is what we call a partial solar eclipse. If the moon and the sun are perfectly aligned, but the moon is too far away, it will be too small on the sky to cover up all the light from the sun. And in this case, we have an annular solar eclipse. But on very special occasions, where the moon and the sun are perfectly aligned and the moon is large enough to cover up all of the light of the sun, we get a total solar eclipse which is what is happening on July the 2nd. Here you can see the coverage of Tuesday's event. The dark red regions is where you'll be able to observe the total solar eclipse. And the lighter red regions is where you'll only see a partial solar eclipse. Eddington knew that during the total solar eclipse of 1919, that the sun's light would be completely blocked out by the moon for a couple of seconds, and that he would be able to measure the separations of stars close to the vicinity of the sun. And so he decided to set off on a journey to the island of Principe in West Africa and photograph the eclipse. He compared the relative positions of stars from each other compared with images that he had taken a night before and he found that indeed there was a shift and that shift was exactly what was predicted by Einstein in his theory of general relativity. 
Einstein became an overnight celebrity. So that's the story of how Einstein got famous. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Let me know in the comment section below if you're going to be enjoying this year's total solar eclipse and 100 years of gravitational lensing. As always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, share and subscribe.